I got a terrible idea. Yes, and a terrible idea it is. Trust me, this is going to be the most disgusting thing you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> So this is a guy who goes by the name Barfly on TikTok and his content usually revolves around making food in like bathrooms for some reason. Usually it's either his own or a hotel one. So you know, like somewhere where a bathroom would be clean. But for some reason, as you can maybe tell by his caption on the video, mile high bathroom, garlic, shrimp and mash, he's decided to make food in an aeroplane bathroom. Probably the most unhygienic place you could possibly imagine. Fun house, I did. King of the palace, rubber like Malcolm, bowed up fist in the air to the fast lit. Yeah, hands up, hands up in the air to they gummy down. I've never felt so sick watching a TikTok before, and that's saying something. There's a lot of grim stuff on TikTok. I don't even like touching stuff with my hands in airplane toilets. I usually just use my feet or elbows. I get my foot up and I go. Also, a, a glaring question here. How do you get on a plane with a heating element in your hand luggage? I get stopped if I have nail scissors. Let him second guess me when I cop the Porsche with the Porsche to skip. Rip the wheels at the horse to spit. Why they trash at the jaw on my list. Added a sword. That's just something about the finger shots where he's like digging into the butter. Also, imagine this is the only toilet on the plane. Like with some smaller planes, there's only one toilet. And you're bursting for a piss. Like absolutely bursting. But you can't go because some bloke is making prawns in the sink. How would you even react when he just walks out with a load of cooked prawns? I sip the potion and poured it. I on the tide, watch me pour it. Opportunity knock at the door, they like rent. They rush for the doors and open like this. Piss struck game. Okay, look, I don't care if you clean the sink before. He didn't say he cleaned the sink before, but I'm just really going to hope he did. But even if he did, it, it wouldn't really change my opinion so much. That's so grim. That's a sink shared by everyone on the plane and everyone who was on the flight before and everyone on the flight before that. Like, I doubt they're regularly cleaning the sink in an aeroplane. Being gritty, don't pity, they full thing with me, been real. I'm trended, I'm hype, I'm lady, been this since scrimmage, don't play game with me. I rally these hits like I play tennis. I drift this shit down, live it, don't. Couldn't you've just got some Pringles or something? Were you really that desperate for plain bathroom sink prawns? Well, what happened to, you know, innocent till proven guilty? If you're unfamiliar with what happens in the UK the other day, the XL bully ban came into place, I think it was on the 31st of December, after a series of incidents where they tried to use toddlers as chew toys. And that means that if you have an XL bully dog, it needs to be registered. And when you're out with it, it needs to be on a lead and uh, has to have a muzzle on in public. Or the alternative is to euthanize them. And it sparked a considerable amount of head loss within the XL bully owner community. With that, the year 2023 is coming to an end. What? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I'm not having this. So from what I can gather, this guy has gone out in solidarity with his dog in a muzzle. What? What? What are you fucking doing, mate? What on earth are you doing? What do you think is going to happen? The lawmakers are going to watch this video and change their minds. I've seen a load of very similar images during the rounds on mainly Twitter because everyone's just taking the piss out of them and you'll see why in a second. So we've got this one here of uh, loads of XL bullies walking up the stairs uh, to a calendar saying December 31st. Like as if as soon as the bell tolls the 31st of December, all XL bullies will be immediately euthanized. Like you don't even have to get them euthanized. There's more, a lot of them, are, most of them are death themed. Like <laughs> and then we got this one where they're, they're looking all sad and they're walking over the house of parliament and it's raining and there's a rainbow. If you don't want to kill your dog, you don't have to. That's up to you. And then I, I saw probably the worst edit of this image ever. Today is the day that Spurs fans come together and stop the genocide of XL bullies. Come on, you Spurs animals, not criminals. Christ. And then we got this one, which is obviously a load of uh, XL bullies on, on a march saying we are not a bad breed. They really love their AI generated images, these lot, don't they? Look at this guy at the back. I know this is nitpicking, but we are not a, a bad breed. Most of these signs aren't even coherent. They, they're not even words. And then I found this tweet of the year contender. This isn't satire, by the way. So the mayor of London, Sadiq Khan tweeted, in London, you're free to be who you want to be and to love who you want to love. Celebrating 10 years of equal marriage in the UK. <laughs> Someone quote it with, unless you're an XL bully, <laughs> are you marrying your dog? Yes, you, you, you cannot marry your dog. <laughs> That's so unreal because it was only 28 
eight minutes into the year, and I think this is already a tweet of the year contender. Whatever side of the fence you're on, I think we can all agree that this is insane. I joined an XL Bully Facebook group to see what was happening on the ground. I wanted to hear what the actual XL Bully owners thought. So they tweeted out this image that, um, <laughs> that we saw a minute ago. I found this sad photo earlier and thought that we should make this our profile picture, and a load of people made it their profile picture. People protect all the precious angels, oh, and they photoshopped <laughs> Jesus holding an XL Bully. That's insane. And then I found this comment on uh, the video I showed earlier of the, of the guy wearing a muzzle in solidarity with his dog. Fear play to him, cuss. What he is saying is humans can be aggressive and attack people, but don't get put to sleep. Just a way for the government to make the money breeders make. Do you seriously think that the government makes less money than what breeders make? And I know a lot of people were thinking this is probably bait. I don't think it is. I really do not think this is. It was a very serious Facebook group I was in. It's mad how a man can be put in 10 Downing Street and within five minutes he is killing dogs. He is worse than China. And that has nine likes. Clearly some intelligent conversation is going on in these groups. <laughs> a few weeks ago, I made a video called Watching Videos With No Views. When me and my mate Cam put search terms into YouTube and filtered them by newest uploaded. And we found a video from a guy called Tape Nerd who has uh, now taken down all his videos for some reason. I don't know why he did that. But he made a diss track in response to me looking at one of his videos and I thought we'd have a look at it because why not? Yo, Mimeless, you think you're so hilarious but all I see is wanna be comedian quite terrorist. You claim to be the king of means but where's the proof? Yeah, mate, I, you've got me there. I feel like I've been caught in a wormhole and gone back to 2017 the way I'm watching a diss track about me and commenting on it. Fucking anyway, let's see what else he's got to say. Mimeless, you're just a joke, one hit wonder. Your videos like substance, they make me ponder. I'm not sure what those last two words were, but fucking hell, he has me on the ropes here. So remind me in the comments why you watch my videos, please. It'll be good for my ego and engagement as well. Fucking hell, my videos must be dangerously atrocious if they're causing you to fall ill. I'm so sorry to hear that, mate. I, I hope you feel better soon. Your video you may with me in it called Watching videos with no, no views. You're only a gimmick on this little diss track for me, Taylor. Let's get back into it. <laughs> Go on, mate. That, that flowed really well. Uh, I can't like why did that transition go kind of hard that was sick I felt something there like it gave me a bit of a rush do you know what I mean UK builders go woke. Study finds three quarters of tradesmen discuss their feelings with colleagues, while two thirds shun the fried breakfasts and nearly half say they are history buffs. Oh yeah, do you know what screams woke agenda? Talking about your feelings and not eating fried breakfasts. Now this article isn't like recent. It was it isn't from the last month. I'm pretty sure it's a couple of years old, but it was doing the rounds last month, so I'm counting it as last month. Okay. But I feel so like middle-aged people just throw around the word woke to describe anything semi-modern. Xboxes, woke. The new Lego Natural History Museum set, woke. Like, if you were to ask any of them what woke means, they would not be able to give you a definitive answer. Because what does this even mean? Nearly half say they are history buffs. How does that correlate to like the definition of being woke? <laughs> what? And there were some other mental headlines during the rounds last month, and I thought we'd just go over them in this little segment. Tesco recalls Christmas stuffing as it may contain moths. How does that happen? How do <laughs> What does it contain? Not just one moth. Moths. All right, so we've got this product recall thing here. Foreign body contamination. Tesco finest apple and cranberry stuffing mix. I mean, it's not the finest if it has moths in it. We are recalling a single batch of Tesco finest apple and cranberry stuffing mix due to the possible presence of moths, which makes the product unfit for human consumption. Was it like a moth infestation at the stuffing factory? Did a lot of them come out of their house and fly into the stuffing mix? I need to know the details of what happened here. I've always been a completely normal UK tax player. And then we have this video of the British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak at King's Cross Station uh, buying some mince pies to give to workers. I love how he's just like pretending cameras aren't on him and he's just acting as if he's doing this out of the kindness of his heart and not as like some really cheap PR stunt. Also, you can tell he thinks he's done God's work here. Like, come on, Rishi. Six boxes of mince pies. Yeah, that'll make up for everything. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there for this video. Like and subscribe and Rishi Sunak will turn up at your house with a, with a fresh mince pie for you.